Asheville has kind of all of the classic offerings that you'll want when you're going on a vacation. Like you can have an incredible cocktail and a really good meal, get a really good cup of coffee, but you could also just go in any direction and go on an incredible hike all of a sudden be at the very top of a mountain. So if you're here on a Saturday, you can go to the farmer's market in the morning, get on the road, jump in a river, and then be back in time for lunch and you'll have an entire afternoon of things to do in town ahead of you. I'm Carrie Reinertsen, and I'm the interior designer for Shelter Collective. We're a multidisciplinary design studio based here in Asheville, but we work nationally. And I'm Rob Maddox. I'm the other half of Shelter, and I primarily focus on new build, residential design and additions. Asheville historically just was kind of this wonderful, beautiful, yet sort of sleepy mountain town where you could go and reinvent yourself. It fosters a lot of like entrepreneurial spirit. There's a lot of startup companies, restaurants, manufacturers that have kind of been birthed from this community, which is something that's really special about the area. A few of the spaces we've been able to design here in town are Garden Party and Malona, which are in West Asheville, and Center for Craft and East Fork Pottery, which are downtown. My name is Connie Matisse. I am the co-founder and CEO of East Fork. We're a direct-to-consumer manufacturing company based here in Asheville, North Carolina, making plates, bowls, mugs in the mountains. Asheville's a truly one-of-a-kind place. There's really not another city in the country that's like it. And if you're a design lover, you're gonna come here and every single shop you're gonna walk into is gonna have its own point of view. Everyone really brings their own personality and their own perspective into the businesses that they start. And you can really feel that in every shop. You're gonna get things that are like, are really made with love and with a really distinct personality. Something that makes the Asheville area a really exciting place to, to be or to visit as a designer, I think it's just the breadth and depth of makers that are working here. Asheville has the benefit of being just south of a craft school called Pentland that has been around for forever and has for a long time drawn craftspeople from all over the country to come and, and deepen their craft and learn and be in communities together. And that shows up in Asheville, wherever you go. So there are potters and weavers and painters and glass blowers. And truly you can just like walk in any direction in Asheville and you're gonna find somebody's studio. I think there's something about this place that has craft as part of the cultural heritage of the community that actually gets passed down through generations. If you're coming to Asheville, you have to get outside. It is, I think, the main attraction. And so many people come, they walk downtown and they, they don't even get to explore the mountains around us. Even just jumping on the parkway and driving north or south, any direction, there are gonna be waterfalls and incredible hikes that have 360 degree views. It's easy to pop outside of your house and get inspired by something. It's just like colors everywhere. And there's it, just a really nice quality of life in relation to the mountains. So many people from so many different places have moved here and are looking to do things a different way and create their own voice. So rather than replicating something that might be in a big city or in a, a different area, Asheville is finding its own space in the design world. Mm -hmm.